<laughs> Hello YouTube, this is Krenos43 with another out of the box. Hey look, there's a head in my uh, video here. And <laughs> hey there. Hello. Mm -hmm. All right, now that we've done the mushy stuff, <laughs> this out of the box is for the Merity Besieged Fat Pack. And it is fatter than usual because they contain nine boosters now. Nine. Na -na -na -na. Nine. When I actually first saw this, it was upside down, and it looked like it said six. You know, like that. But, you know, I am blind, so... Let's see what's inside. <laughs> Let's see. Ow. Let's see what's inside. Now, Merit and Besieged is a 155-card set for some strange and ungodly reason. Because ten of the cards are basic land. The MRP is $34.99, I'm pretty sure. That's what I paid. <laughs> And the first thing you'll notice is, hey, look, that is Tezzeret. Woo, Tezzeret! Tezzeret. It comes with the card encyclopedia mm -hmm. right there. Comes with more box. This is really cool. It comes with two deck boxes folded up. One for Mirren, one for Phyrexian. And now they fight. <laughs> oh yeah the inside of the box has some really neat art on it let me see here a few leonin a couple mirror some scary guys more scary guys i don't know why they put such nice art on the inside it makes no sense to me probably because they want to show the contents of the fat pack on the outside yeah, that's probably true. But that's just my opinion there. Uh, spin down life counter. White, green, red, black, or blue. In this case, it's black or green. Mm -hmm. The all important how to play guide. Mm -hmm. So important, I could just, you know, toss it that way. And nine boosters. Well, actually, wait, one more, one more goodie. The forty basic land, the forty land pack, which this time around actually contains lands with the Mirrored and Besieged expansion symbol on them. Some of them. That one in itself has the Mirrored and Besieged expansion symbol on it. Useful if you're playing sealed. Fat pack sealed. Mm -hmm. That would that would actually be rather intriguing. Yes, it would. And. No longer is it six, no longer is it eight, but it's nine, nine boosters. Nine. You hurt somebody with nine boosters. You could like hurt, that. oh, it's a uh, hundred and five cards. You could definitely hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. So let's do what I've done for a few sets now. Crack open a pack. Let my fiance open up the other eight. Yay. They're her cards. <laughs> Mine are sitting next to me. Yes. Significantly more. Do this the humane way. With scissors. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you this. One thing that Wizards of the Coast has now done to mock you is... That may not necessarily be a foil now. They put the basic land on the outside. In this case, <laughs> it's not a foil. That's sad. Wait, wait. Let's migrate the camera to here. Card number one. Quick Silver Geyser. Return up to two non-land permanents to their owner's hands. Well, in my opinion, that is a pretty decent card. Because you can get rid of them pesky uh, planeswalkers. Yes. Then we've got Spin Engine. For a red, target creature cannot block Spin Engine this turn. And it in itself is a 3-1. You know what? If you gave that thing infect... Hmm. 
Rally the Force is attacking creatures get plus one plus O oh, and first strike till end of turn. Wow, that could be useful. Mm -hmm. You know, battle cry, battle cry. Oh yes. Yes, battle cry. Tangle Mantis. It is a three four trampler. There's really not much else you can say except for the fact that you know, hooray, trampler! Yay! Yay! Ardent Recruit! It is a 1-1 one, one metal craft. Ardent Recruit gets plus 2, plus 2, as long as you have 3 or more artifacts. Well, it's got the mirror and watermark. If you're not playing artifacts, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Tyne Shriek. Shrike. 2-1 flying and infect. Anybody see something wrong here? It's got the Phyrexian symbol. Mm -hmm. It's got infect. It's white! Actually, in the card encyclopedia, it talks about how Phyrexia has five different factions. You know, white, red, blue, green, black. So What she said. Yes. <laughs> uh, morbid Plunder. Return up to two creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Nice. It is your standard recursion card. Gliss's Courier. It is a 2-3... Hey, there's an ability we haven't seen in a while. Mountain Walk. Mountain Walk. And it's green. And it looks cool. And it's a horror. You don't see too many non-black horrors. Yeah. Ikor Wellspring. When Ikor Wellspring enters the battlefield or is put into a graveyard, draw a card. That's really all it does. Mm. It doesn't... It's not a creature. Um, I, 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 yeah, yeah, um, there's really not much to say about it. Yeah. Nah. When it goes in, it comes out, you draw a card. Serum Raker. Uh, it's a flyer that when it's put into a graveyard from the battlefield, each player discards a card. Mm hmm. Well, it'd be useful with or against Eldrazi. Yes. No, not so much against. Hmm. Koldotha Flame Fiend. When it enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice an artifact. Hey! <laughs> it combos with that one card. Yeah. If you do, Koldotha Flame Fiend deals 4 damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or players. And it's a 4-4. Four, four. Nice. Well, now you have something to actually use that other artifact with. Mm -hmm. Strandwalker. It is a living weapon. What that means is, when this equipment enters the battlefield, you put an OO black germ on it. And in this case, you'll end up with a 2-4 reaching germ. Interesting. Yeah, it is. All living weapons, according to Wizards of the Coast, improve toughness. Hmm. Corrupted Conscience. You control enchanted creature, and the enchanted creature has infect. Hmm. That gives me ideas. <laughs> and magnetic mine. When another artifact is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, magnetic mine deals two damage to the artifact's controller. It's useful when you're fighting against artifacts, not so much if you have them yourself. And then the all-inclusive... Hey, look, it's a germ. Yay. Hey, look, you got a living weapon in the booster. Yay. Yay. Combo power. <laughs> so there you have it. That's just a few of the surprises in Mirrored and Besieged. Like, but like I said, the set is 155 cards and you only saw 14. But yeah, so that is Mirrored and Besieged. Release tournaments are this weekend. The set will be standard legal, I think, today. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. They might have changed it. I don't know. They change them so often. And next time, we're going to do another toy that was released recently. If I can find it. There it is. The D&D &D Fortune cards. These are fun. And they're not broken. I swear. Anyway... Peace out.